So what happens now, Sheila? You get what you deserve for cheating on Eric the way you did with Rich. So what are you gonna do? You gonna squeeze the life out of me? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Prove to Eric just how crazy you really are. Choke me out, Sheila. I dare you. Sorry about this. It won't be much longer. No problem. Take your time. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. You seem troubled. Okay, you know what it is? It's it's this lie. It's this lie that my dad keeps perpetuating, it, telling Thomas that Caroline is sick just so we can have a stupid building. You know how badly I want to tell everyone? You said you were going to keep the secret. I know. I know I said that, and I'm going to do that, but just still, it really... What's wrong? There was a fire at Spectre Fashions. No, 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 no! What are you doing? No, 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 out. Deep breath. You're fortunate you didn't get close to the fire. Yeah, I... I know it was stupid. It was brave. Sally was all about saving the line. How is she, doctor? Took in some smoke, but just minor smoke inhalation. You're a lucky lady. Next time you see a fire, run. Outcome could have been a lot worse. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I don't know how it could have been any worse. Our entire future just went up in flames. Is it done? Well done. Fire's out. Spectra Fashions is out of the game. Me almost doesn't count. I knew. I knew you were faking it. You were laying around here, pretending to be weak and confused. But you were fine. You're strong as an ox. You know what? Eric needs to know how you were manipulating him. And I'm going to be the one to tell him. So you better pack up, Sheila. You're out of this house. Tonight! A fire. How bad? I don't have many details. Just what Charlie heard from his friend at the fire department, but I think it was pretty bad. Was anyone hurt? Well, apparently Sally got smoke inhalation and they took her to the oh, hospital. God. See, this is exactly what these people need okay. right now. Okay, we should check on Sally, see if she's okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, well, keep me posted. Well, yeah. Same okay? to you, Pam. Okay. okay, yeah. Can you believe this? The collection, our business, it's all gone. <coughs> I won't. It's tragic, yes, but you're all right. Yeah, that's what matters. Okay, that's all that matters, Sal. I am not all right. This is the worst thing that could have happened. I've never seen a building on fire up close. And the night before, a big fashion show. What are the odds? <coughs> so there's no way Spectra can pull this out of the fire, so to speak. Building's a shell and they're broke, so. <laughs> Finally, Spectra Fashions is no longer a sorry, dilapidated obstacle to progress. My dream's going to become a reality. The sky's going up. 
and up and up. Thank you guys for stopping by. I wanted to make sure everyone was okay. Yeah, and tell you how sorry we are. Well, at least Spectra Fashions is out of your hair now. Yeah, okay, I wanted that, but not this way. So what happened? We were getting ready to pull an all-nighter. There was no way any of us could get some sleep. <laughs> Biggest fashion show of our lives is supposed to be tomorrow. We went out for something to eat and... We came back to find Sally's office in flames. Oh my God, that's awful. Everything's gone. Our designs, dreams. I know, um, words don't mean much at a time like this, but I'm so sorry. Me too. I mean, you guys deserve to have a shot. That means a lot coming from you. Thank you both. Oh, thank God you guys were all still alive. After I saw what was left of that building, I just, I freaked. Hey, are, are you okay? What, what did the doctor say? I'm fine. I just took in a little smoke. Yeah, well, you better be fine, because aside from my mom, you're all I got. <clears throat> I, um, <clears throat> I spoke to the fire marshal, and apparently the fire was electrical. Oh, the wiring. I'll give to those Spectres. You know, they're, uh, they're a scrappy little bunch. But scrappy is no match for single-minded determination. Yeah, you did all of that all right. You know, I, I have always found it uh, frustrating and, and disappointing when opponents over the course of my life have refused to listen to reason and, and logic and forced me to take extreme measures. You know, well, why didn't those clowns just move out when I asked them nicely? Guess I've missed that part. <clears throat> so how soon before we can level what's left of that building and break ground? Well, actually, we need to talk about that. I know you're anxious to start construction, but being your legal advisor and considering what went down tonight, your best strategy is patience. I'm done being patient. That's been my cross to bear for the last year. Yeah, we'll tap into it a little while longer. Now is not the time to bring attention to Spencer Publications. Gwen, what is it? Gwen, Gwen, what's the matter? Oh my God, this can't have happened again. Eric, I'm th I'm so oh, sorry. Sorry, no. sorry, sorry. You you tried to kill me because that's what you wanted to do. This woman is a murderous witch, and I want her out of this house right now. You're only in this house because you're Eric's wife. This house still belongs right, stop, to him. Stop, stop it, stop it, both of you. I want to know what happened. This woman has been faking her symptoms so she can stay here, and I know it for a fact. Damn it, I hate it when you're right. That's why you pay me the big bucks. Always looking out for old dollar bill. Mm -hmm. now, you know that. All right, I'm gonna take your sage advice. I will sit back, wait for the inevitable. Sounds good. Without insurance, Garrison will show up here begging me. Begging me to take that burned out rat's nest off his hands. An electrical fire? Faulty wiring. It's my fault, I was warned. I just put off getting it fixed. We couldn't afford it. But I figured, you know, after the showing, Listen. Okay, we have been thrown our fair share of punches, but none of them have knocked us out yet. Okay, and I agree. Whenever Thomas hears about this fire, he will come back and save us. Yes, it is a setback, but CJ can collect on the insurance and we'll just rebuild. We'll just find a loan for the deductible. CJ? What's that look? There is no insurance. What? I, uh, I made a mistake too. 
Okay, I thought the sale of the building to Spencer was inevitable, either sooner or later, and then his dad upped the offer, and I was trying to give you more time, and I got caught up, and the due date came and went, so. So what are we gonna do? I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe Spencer will buy what's left of the building and we can make some money. Hey, Sally, don't let this break your spirits. You come roaring back and you get that recognition you deserve. Glad you're okay. Thanks. I gotta go. Quinn, I know you think that Sheila's been No, 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 not she... think, I know it, for a fact. I went up to the guest room after James said that Sheila had to stay here and you'll never guess what I walked in on. Poor concussive Sheila, walking around the room like she owned the place, not compromised at all. No, I was, I was just practicing, Eric. Please! No, you know, despite what you think, I would never take advantage of his generosity indefinitely. How am I supposed to know if I'm getting better if I don't push myself a little? So I guess if you're breathing, you're lying. Is that the way it is? I told her I was gonna call her out. I was gonna come down here and tell you, but before I even got to the door, she grabbed me. No, I, I was trying to reason with her to make her listen, and she attacked me. I attacked you. I had to push you off of me in order to get away. I had to defend myself. Sheila wants me dead. Oh my God, this is so absurd. Really? Then explain to my husband why you had me on the floor with your hands around my neck. God, she's making this sound so much more dramatic than it was. Sheila's not only physically fine, but she's more crazy and psychotic than ever. You cannot let her stay here. Is this true, Sheila? Have you been exaggerating these symptoms so that you could stay in my house? Sheila, I'm waiting. Have you been exaggerating your symptoms so that you could stay in the house? No, Eric, of course not. I don't even believe a word she says. It's like I was saying before. I just wanted to see what I was capable of. I tried to tell you that. I mean, I think you would be happy that I'm pushing myself, trying to get better. The sooner I'm better, the sooner I'm gone. I, I don't even want to hang around for her definition of sooner. I want her out of the house tonight. No. I don't want to leave. I don't trust Quinn's relationship with Ridge. What? She's going to hurt you again, Eric. I just know it. That's none of your business, Sheila. I don't need you to monitor my relationship with my wife or to protect me from her. Sheila, I'm sorry, but I know you. And to see you moving around like this, I have to agree with Quinn. It's time for you to go. Tonight? Immediately. I'll call a car. Wait outside. I'm really sorry, Eric. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. And I know that you... You don't want me to look out for you. And you don't want me to care for you. But I always want what's best for you. Goodbye, Sheila. I can't imagine what you're going through. It's just 
the timing, you know? I mean, the night before the most important show of my entire career and everything just goes up in flames. I didn't want to say it in front of everyone, but there is no coming back from this, especially with no insurance. Spectra Fashions is really dead this time. Am I interrupting? No more than usual. What's on your mind? I, uh, I assume you heard the news. I hear news all day, Liam. What are you referring to? Spectre fashions went up in flames. Oh, yeah, well, of course I heard about that. Shame. Yeah, I think what struck me about it was poetry of it, you know? This this fire breaks out, destroys everything the night before a fashion show that would have put Spectra on the map, when that's exactly what you didn't want to happen. Well, you know, timing cuts both ways, Liam. Yeah. Just came from the hospital. Somebody hurt? Depends on your definition. Sally suffered some smoke inhalation. She's gonna be all right. Physically. Good. Kind of surprised you care. Why would that surprise you, Liam? I'm not a fan, but I don't want to see any harm come to the woman. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, because if something did happen to her, if she, oh, had third degree burns, then that would force you to have to feel guilty about something for once. And Where that's- Where are you going weird. with this, I'm just Liam? thinking, you know, I'm just thinking, Dad, thinking out loud, thinking about you and, your methods and like what you clearly did in Monte Carlo. You could have been sitting on a beach, sipping Mai Tais, enjoying life with your new wife, and instead you're whispering in Thomas's ear, telling him lies about Caroline's mortality, all for the sake of a building. Now, who does that? Who actually goes that far? I mean, that's kind of sick, right? But at least it's not criminal. Now, arson, on the other hand. Be very careful now, son. You know I love you, right? I love you too. Even when I'm appalled by you, I love you. And maybe, maybe that's naive, I mean, but I tell myself that there are, there are limits. There, there are things that I don't want to believe, but you know something, it's getting harder and harder to ignore the burning feeling in the pit of my stomach. I think we need to drop this right now. That fire at Spectra, that wasn't an accident. It wasn't faulty wiring. That was you. You wanted those people out of there and you sent one of your henchmen to do your dirty work for you and burn that place to the ground. Just admit it, Dad. Just say it, just say it out loud, it'll feel good. Spectra burnt to ashes tonight because of you. 